Hi, I'm Yaddy. Welcome to Meet Me at the Corner. I'm on the corner of 86th and East End Avenue on the Upper East Side. In these apartments, there are many different kinds of people. Doctors, lawyers, artists, and writers. Today we're going to meet one of those writers, Deanne Love. Let's go! When in your mind did you know you were a writer? It's a really interesting question, you know. Um, People say you're a writer when you think you're a writer, um, and a lot of people say that they're afraid to call themselves writers before they're published. Um, but when I was in third grade, I had a teacher who told me that she thought I had a talent for writing and that I could be a published writer someday. And from about the third grade on, I really did think of myself as a writer, you know, just a writer that hasn't been published yet, but, um, you know, a writer that someday will publish books. And so I always thought about that. How long does it take to write one of your books? It usually takes me about a year uh, from the time I first get the idea and get the first draft going until I get it revised and revised and revised until I'm ready to turn it in. So anywhere from you know a year on a, on a contemporary project to five years on, on a historical. Do you outline a story before you begin? I'm pretty much of a planner. Um, and so I usually have a pretty good outline because now that I've written so many books, um, I don't have to write the whole book before I sell it to the publisher. So generally what I do is write the first three chapters, and then I write an outline, a chapter-by-chapter -chapter outline of the rest of the story. You know, So I write chapter one, two, and three, and then my outline actually begins with chapter four. And I'll say, in chapter four, the character's going to do this, and in chapter five, this happens, and in chapter six, this happens. And I sort of take the editor through, chapter by chapter in an outline, what's going to happen in the story. What kind of child were you? I like to stay by myself a lot. I enjoyed reading and writing. You know, and, and I would write little stories, and I would pass them around and share them with my friends, because in those days, we didn't have computers, you know, where you could just print it out and pass it around. So I would write everything out in a spiral notebook, and I'd pass my notebook around, and all my friends would read my stories. And my mom used to say to me, go out and play, because my brothers had bikes, and they would be out riding their bikes and everything. But I was usually just holed up, you know, with a book. I love to read, and so I would usually be holed up with a, reading a book or writing a book. Tell us something fun from your elementary years. Uh, back when I was growing up, there were drive-in movies everywhere. There aren't so many movies now. I mean, now you go into a mall and there's, you know, 49 different screens and 12 different movies playing. But when I was growing up, you drove in your car to this big parking lot that had speakers that you pulled out and you hooked the speaker onto your window. And then out front there was this big, huge screen and you would sit in your car mm -hmm. and watch the movies. And so one of the things that my brothers and I used to love to do was to talk our dad into taking us to the driving movie. What sort of books did you enjoy as a girl? Books I enjoyed as a girl, I loved biographies. I, my school library had a, a, an old tattered copy of a biography of Benjamin Franklin. And I, for some reason, I just was so in love with him. And so I used to read that biography over and over and over. Um, when I was 12 years old, Harper Lee published To Kill a Mockingbird. And that has been my favorite book ever since. Do you enjoy getting mail from kids? Yeah, I get mail from kids almost every day, usually about a book that they're reading or they've picked me to be a topic of a report they're writing in school and they want information about me. And so um, it's a lot of fun to hear from people all over the country who've read my books. Now that we have email uh, and now that I have a website, most of my mail doesn't come through the U.S. mail, but it comes through my website. And um, I have a page on there that's called Let's Talk. And kids who have read my books or who want to talk about writing or books or how to get started as being a writer, just click on the Let's Talk page. That's it for today. See you next time.